today we're going to be trying out some awesome street food in one of the most popular tourist destinations in Tokyo. Hey guys, it's Thursday, which means it's time to once again explore the streets of Tokyo for some delicious food. Today we're at world famous Tsukiji. If you didn't know already, Tsukiji is one of the largest markets in the entire world. When people hear Tsukiji, they usually think about the tuna auctions that happen early in the morning. They happen in the inner market. For the casual visitor who are more interested in trying out the street foods, you want to go to the outer market. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. If you're new to this channel and you enjoy videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to press that bell icon to be notified every time we release a new video. Let's get started! First, we bought at Unagi Nishintaro. They are selling seafood on stick. Just 200 yen for one stick. And I bought scallop. Soy sauce grazed. Very beautiful. Yagimasu. Mm. The body is very soft, and the outside ear part is karikarito. Crispy. And soy sauce is really nice. Mm. Well, unagi is super expensive here in Japan. Um, but this is 200 yen for this unagi. I mean, you can't get it this cheap anywhere else, really. Anyway, I'm hoping it's good. Itadakimasu. Mm. Oh. Oh, okay. That's actually not bad. For some reason, I was expecting it to be a bit dry because it is, after all, only 200 yen. But it's actually not bad for this price. Mm. The unagi or eel is a little bit fatty which is actually nice it has to be fatty there's nothing worse than like a dry unagi but do dry unagis even exist i'm happy this is a great start to our food tour this is called morokoshi again deep fried corn and fish cake the inside is a fish cake with corn and it's deep fried this is from ajino hamato the shop lady said this is the number one popular stuff Mmm, mmm. It's sweeter than I expected. It's a taste of corn, fish cake. It's like kamaboko. Really tasty. This shop has been in operation for over 80 years. So they've been around, so they know what they're doing. Okay, I didn't expect to taste this good. This is deep fried fish cake, but it's not that oily. I've actually never had corn fish cake before. I'm a huge fan now, I think. Mmm, that is good stuff. The next, we came to Daisada. It's a very nice egg omelette shop. Both of these omelettes are 120 yen, hot and cold. Let me cut into this. This is the hot tamagoyaki, guys. Okay. It's super, super fluffy. Super fluffy. Check that out. Okay. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that was good. This is a really pleasant sweetness. The egg is super fluffy. So here's a cold one. And immediately I can tell that it's not as uh, soft. Oh, it's absolutely different from the hot one. It's interesting how different they are in texture and taste. This one is also a little bit sweet, but it also has a dashi taste. Whereas the regular hot one doesn't have any dashi flavor. It's just kind of like a sweet omelet, which is actually delicious and I actually prefer that one. We got a lot more to eat. Let's go to the next place. Next stop is Tsukiben where they specialize in Inari Zushi. But not just any old Inari Zushi. This is seafood top Inari Zushi. This is the one I got. I got the Inari Zushi with crab meat and salmon roe ikura. Crab meat and salmon roe ikura on top of Inari. By the way, that is a deep fried tofu pouches, just in case you guys didn't know. These go for 500 yen. They do have other toppings such as uni, sea urchin, but I'm not really a fan of sea urchin, so I'm gonna go with the crab and the ikura. Mm. Mm. The crab meat is so fresh and juicy. So much juice was dripping down my chin right now. I actually don't want to give Satoshi any of this. It's so good. All right, I'll save you some. <laughs> I'm gonna save you some. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So juicy. Yep. Yeah. Seafood flavor. 
the crab meat flavor. Really nice. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's go to the next place. The next Maguro no Miyako seafood grill. Just 1,000 yen. Tuna, sea urchin, crab, and inside maybe it's scallop. It's just grilled in front of us. They char grilled on the surface. Sea urchin. I love sea urchin. Mmm, mmm. flavorful. Nicely grilled with soy sauce dashi soup. I'm gonna eat the tuna. That has so much flavor. The seafood is super, super fresh, so you don't really need to add too many seasonings, I think. Like, just the right amount of saltiness. It's, it's not too soy saucy or anything. Oh, oh, and this tuna is super, super meaty. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Check it out, guys. Oh. Mmm, <laughs> that is so good. I love crab. Oh my god, that's so good. Mmm. Next place is Suga Shoten. They are famous for their shumai, which are Chinese dumplings. I know, we're here to eat seafood, but we're eating pork and chicken. But I heard these are good, so we had to try them out. This is the pork. This is the pork shumai, and this is made with Kagoshima pork. So it's supposed to be very, very special. Mm. Oh, this shumai actually tastes so much more flavorful than the shumai that I buy at my neighborhood store. It's really, really moist and soft on the inside. There's almost um, like no vegetables in here. I think it's just pork and I don't know what else they use, but it's really good. This is the chicken shumai. I've never had chicken shumai before. Chicken shumai is kind of unusual. Oh, I actually like this chicken one. I think this one is flavored with a little bit of ginger. So it has a little bit of kick, a totally different flavor from the pork one. And because it's chicken, it's a lot lighter and less fatty. The chicken one is 90 yen, the pork one is 110 yen. So they're actually very reasonably priced. And especially when they're this good, definitely worth it. This is from a shop called Hizumi. They were cooking these up on, on, the, on the street and there's no way I can uh, resist this. Oh, oh. <laughs> Food me. This is actually fish cake. It's fish cake, but it does have the flavor of crab. They got some mustard here, so I'm gonna like um, dip my imitation crab fish cake into a little bit of mustard. Mm, mm. Oh yeah, that mustard adds a nice little kick to this um, crab flavored fish cake. Mmm, it's not bad. This crab fish cake is really fluffy, soft, and flavorful. Mm, 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 mm. You know, we were walking down this small alleyway in between the streets, and we found this really nice and quaint shop that sells fish burgers called Fish Burger Masa. They were right in front of us. What I thought was a bowl of miso soup, it was actually a pot of ginger ale. He was actually making fresh ginger ale right in front of us so of course I had to get myself ginger ale I mean I've never seen ginger ale made right in front of me like that and then we got the Tara burger which translates to cod burger and this is 500 yen and it's so cool because he makes everything fresh I mean right in front of you he actually battered the fish in front of us he deep fried it and then I mean everything was just fresh so I'm just impressed Oh, that is a good fish burger. The outside is so crispy. The inside is so piping hot and flaky. The fish is so fresh. There's no fishiness whatsoever. There's a slice of cheese that's melted on top of the fish. There's shredded cabbage as well. And the bun is a very specially made bun. Here's a ginger ale. Oh, oh, that's, that is, so refreshing it's so refreshing wow and so much ginger check it out i mean look at the ginger look at all that fresh ginger right inside that's amazing this shop is called narito suisan price is 500 yen the larger size uh, they have also smaller size it's 460 yen the, the shop owner said 
it is very good as it is. So if you don't really like oyster, so please add lemon juice. Oishi. Good. Okay. Mm. Mm. In Japan, we said we call this oyster the sea milk. Yes, it's like a milk. It's so tsurutorotto smooth. It has own sweetness. So good. <laughs> right, we got the menchikatsu from a shop called Yoshizawa Shoten. They are famous for their menchi cutlets and it's made with 100% Matsuzaka beef, which is one of the top three Wagyu beefs here in Japan. And we had to wait for a while because they were sold out and they keep selling like hotcakes all day long. That's how popular these are. Hot. Mmm. Whoa! Wow! This is incredibly juicy. It's so juicy, has so much beef flavor. It's it's like it's not like the beef that I'm used to eating. It has so much flavor in here. It's so simple. All it is is ground up matsuzaka beef. It's rolled in some panko breadcrumbs and then it's deep fried. That's all it is. But it's wonderful. Mmm. <laughs> I told you, it's crazy, isn't it? Oh, so juicy. Mmm, so much, so much umami of beef. Mmm. Isn't this like the juiciest menchikatsu ever? Yes. I need one more. <laughs> no, we got more to eat. Let's go to the next place. Okay, let's go to the next place. The, the shop name is Maguroya Krogin. You guys are probably saying, finally you guys are eating tuna. I know, it took us a while, but you know, there's just so much food that's, you know, like trying to catch our attention. Anyway, we're finally having tuna. This is the chutoro, which is the medium fatty tuna. And um, the reason why we chose a medium fatty tuna is because the fatty tuna, which is otoro, we both don't really care for otoro. It's a bit too fatty for our taste. But if you like fatty taste, please go for it because I heard it's really good. I'm gonna eat it with a little bit of wasabi. I'm gonna have it with a little bit of rice. Like that. And then see what it tastes like. Mmm. Wow. That is so fresh. It is one of the freshest tuna I've had. This is definitely worth the 1,500 yen. It's a pretty small bowl, but they actually give you quite a few pieces of tuna in this bowl. I wish my mother was here right now. She loves tuna so much. I wish you were here so I could give you a taste of this, mom. You would love this. Check this out. Check this onigiri out, guys. Look at this gigantic rice ball with a shrimp tempura inside. This is from a place called Marutoyo and all they sell are rice balls. Japanese rice balls called onigiri and because this is tsukiji they have uh, fillings such as this shrimp tempura, uh, they have clams, they have oysters, salmon and all type of fish for fillings. Had to get one of this to try it. Um, let's give it a go. Itadakimasu. Where do I start? The tail or this part? I'm, I'm afraid I might just have rice on this side. <laughs> Mmm, mmm. Good rice with the tempura sauce. I didn't get any of the shrimp yet. Mmm, mmm. There you go. I just bit into the shrimp. That is a pretty big size shrimp. I was kind of surprised because this was actually only 220 yen. That's pretty cheap for a, a rice ball with a big shrimp inside. This is yummy. This would be perfect if you're really, really hungry. Yeah, I think two of these would like fill you up right away. Hmm. Pretty good. Last but not least is this thing right here. This is from a shop called Sanokia and they serve these tuna pastries. That's right. 
you're not gonna find savory tuna in here but I think you're gonna find something like red beans or something that's what I think this is like a tuna version of the famous taiyaki that you find all over the city but as this is Tsukiji they got to do things a little bit differently oh wow oh, oh my god okay that's a lot of uncle in there uncle is sweetened red bean paste and this is the uh, the bumpy type where there are some actual uh, whole beans inside okay and then the outside is like kind of crispy and kind of like a pancake batter I guess by the way this is called the chu toro yaki which means medium fatty tuna whatever this is itadakimasu mm, mm, mm. it tastes just like a taiyaki <laughs> no difference guys no difference from a taiyaki the only difference is the shape the shape is in the shape of a tuna and that's the only difference the beans are really good um, it's not super sweet so it's the perfect way to end a meal ah, it's okay it's okay it's okay it's not bad guys this is a perfect dessert but that's only if you like azuki beans goodness gracious great balls of fire I can't believe we ate so much food today <laughs> I am so sleepy now <laughs> what was your favorite thing that you ate today Satoshi? the fish burger oh yeah the fish <laughs> burger that was good you know I pretty much forgot what I ate because we had so much food today how many items did we eat today? 13 items 13 13 13? Yes, 13 no wonder I'm ready to fall asleep <laughs> you know I gotta say the one thing that that stood out for me is definitely that fish burger that we had mm -hmm. I really like that that was a discovery we weren't planning to do that one I gotta say that my favorite of everything we had today with the exception of that fish burger was that inari that inari sushi with the crab meat on top that was the bomb I could go for another one right now no I, I i can't no i can't anyway thank you so so much for joining us on this epic street food tour of tsukiji please let us know your favorites in the comments down below and if you want to see more videos like this one please let us know that in the comments down as well the tsukiji inner market will close this october but the outer market will remain yes so no worries you can always come here for good street food but thank you for watching. See you on next adventure. Bye. Bye.